So to get started, uh, it is December the 28th, 2011. Um, I wanted to go through just some basic operating processes in GNOME 3. So the time frame of the desktop, you know, the things may change a little bit if you're watching this at a later time. Um, I'm going to kind of go through the just the basics of how to move around in the desktop and how to, you know, basically master it um, as quickly as possible. So to start with, up here in the far right hand side, um, we have our name um, and basically what we're going to do is select that. And then you'll notice that we have a drop down list of menu items. Now you have lock screen and log out, switch user, you know, the, the basic things. The thing that we're going to take a look at first is going to be the, the system settings. So we're going to select system settings. And basically, this brings up a, a more Mac style uh, interface for managing the different aspects of the computer. Um, so from here you can see we have background um, which allows you to change the background we have screen that allows you to change the you know when to lock the screen when to put it to sleep um, we have our display for the size of our display and, and different resolution properties um, we've got a keyboard which is basically allows us to change the settings for the keyboard and also to map keys um, our mouse our network uh, printer sound uh, power settings and user accounts. Uh, I mean, just just general things that are that are in this particular section of the program, so or the desktop. So, you know, any of the system level things that you want to do, you would do in there. Uh, a little bit farther over, um, we have our battery control, our wireless network control, and clicking on this will actually open open up a list of the different wireless networks. Um, we've got our sound control. And then we've got our access control, which is you know allows us to zoom in and and do different things like that. Um, one thing you'll notice is that no matter uh, how many applications we have, there is no bar down here at the bottom anymore telling us what applications are open. Um, I'm going to show you in a second how to actually see that. However, down here in the bottom right, um, if you have things like Skype or Dropbox or you know applications that would normally show at the bottom right hand side of a Windows toolbar or you know a, a Mac uh, typically shows them up here at the top but but those types of icons will always be down here at the bottom left and you have to point to the corner to actually get it to come up there um, again no applications are showing as far as what I have open at the moment so what I would like to do now is I'd like to see the applications that I have you can see up here that I actually have Google Chrome as it has focus at the moment but I would like to see other applications that I have open so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you three different ways to see that the first way is to hit the Windows key on the keyboard and that will open up our Windows panel uh, basically a control panel for the the desktop and allow me to choose different things on the desktop to pull to the front or switch between them You'll also know that, notice that by pointing to them, we can click the X to close the application from here. Um, so it basically allows me to get a bird's eye view of everything that I have going on on the desktop. Over here on the left, you notice that we have a dock bar. Um, this is basically our favorites, and we can put anything we want to over here or remove things from here. So for example, if I right click, I can remove it from the panel. Um, and if I want to see all my applications, I'll just come up here to the top and select um, the, the Applications menu. So from, well, let's see. Okay. Um, I was just trying to zoom in there, and it doesn't let you do that from the desktop here. Um, but so from Applications, it gives me a list of all the applications. From the, the default view, I'm basically looking at every application that I have in there. Um, it's not real useful in my opinion I don't really like it at all um, however over here on the right we do have the ability to narrow it down to only our accessories games internet um, you know so you, you can drill in and get to the things that you want to get to um, a few things in the the system tools we have the system monitor um, just really quickly to, to kind of show you how that works 
um, in processes it gives you a list of all the running applications um, selecting an application you can end the process so if you get something like Skype that normally locks up and gives you a hard time um, you can come in here and kill it really easily um, you can also see your resources and your your file system information um, from from that screen so again I'm gonna hit the Windows key um, applications a couple other things that you have here um, if we go to internet um, this is where you have your remote desktop viewer to get onto say a Windows box to, to look at the, the screen um, we've also we've got a couple different remote desktops uh, and, and then you also have an X11 VNC server um, so the, a lot of information a lot of uh, programs and things here that you can take advantage of um, the other thing that we can do is if we go back over here to Windows, um, if you let's say I want to put this on a different desktop, I can click and drag this over to the right, and you'll notice that we get this panel of desktops. Right now, I've only got two desktops because I'm only using one, so it adds two. You'll notice that when I drop this here, it automatically adds a second one, I mean, a third one. So I can click on these desktops. To get through the to get to the different applications that I have on each one of them, um, and then by hitting the Windows key again, I'm on that desktop. So it's very simple to to switch back and forth to the different desktops. Now the other thing I mentioned, there's three ways to get into that panel. So the one is to hit the Windows key, the second is to select the activities up here, and the third is to actually point to the corner of the screen. So as I point it act, turns it on and off. Again, clicking activities also turns it on and off. Now, in these uh, menus over here, if I decide that I want to move this to the third desktop or I want to move it back to the first, I just click and drag and it moves it over. So it's pretty quick to, to move things. Uh, if I want to access something from the, the control or from my dock over here, I can actually uh, just select it and it'll open it up. Um, so it's very simple to move around and do things. Um, the the um, let's see if there's anything else here that I would like to. Oh, um, the last thing that will that I'll show you is if I wanted to move through applications, I can hold the Alt key down and press the Tab key to basically move through. So as long as I hold the Alt key, every time I hit Tab, it moves to the next application. If that's the app I want to pull to the front, I just let go of the Alt key and it pulls it to the front of the screen. So it's very simple to um, switch between running applications that way as well. So a good bit of functionality here. Um, it's it's actually pretty easy to, to navigate and to deal with. Um, in my opinion, it's much, much better than what Ubuntu is trying to do with their new desktop. Um, obviously, as time goes on, it'll get even cleaner and, and probably have a lot more functionality than what I'm showing here today, but um, this should get you started using GNOME 3.